Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mike here back with another video. So Google finally launched the new Material 3 Expressive update for its Pixel devices, which does come with some changes to the visual user interface. And for this one, I just want to show you guys a quick tour of what you can expect if you ever decide to install the new update on your Google Pixel phone. Now for the purposes of this video, I will be using the Google Pixel 8a, and I just want to show you guys how it runs on a considerably older device. In addition to this, I do have a Pixel 9a here as well and this one hasn't been updated yet so it's more of a point of comparison just to see how the new update looks at least when compared to the older UI. Now we do cover a lot of other smartphones here including other Google Pixel phones so I will link them in the description below and with that said let's get started. Alright, so one of the first things that you'll notice about the Material 3 Expressive update is that everything kind of looks chunky right now. So this goes the same for text, most UI elements, and even the status bar symbols are a bit larger than the older version. Although you can of course adjust this in the settings menu, which we'll take a look at later. And yeah, it does stand out a bit more, especially if you compare it to the previous version of Material UI. Of course, you do get new transparency effects. Going over to the app drawer is a bit more translucent now, which is kind of similar to what you get with other Android skins like One UI or even HyperOS, for example, compared to the older way that Google used to do it, where it would usually just be black or white, depending on your device settings. Now, one thing that we've seen in the early previews of Material 3 Expressive is the new animations and some elements of the user interface. So you kind of get this transition that goes from rounded to square shapes for certain toggles, especially from the quick settings menu. Personally, I'm not a really big fan of this change. I would prefer that the shape stays the same. And yeah, it's a pretty interesting route for Google to go with with the new update. Now, of course, these changes extend to the apps themselves. For example, with the settings app, you do get color icons again, which is kind of similar to what we got with Android 10 and Android 11, for example. And yeah, it's a nice throwback to the older days of Android from a few years ago. And this add a bit more liveliness to the otherwise plain looking settings menu. Of course, the visual overhaul also extends to each individual settings menu. So you will notice some changes in terms of the general look of the different options as you go through your Pixel phone. Now we do get some new motion effects as well with the recent apps list, for example. So if you do swipe away an app, the cards kind of bounce into each other, which is a nice little addition. And again, it does add a bit more liveliness to the overall look and feel of the interface. For the volume settings, you of course have a larger area now to adjust the different levels for your notifications, your phone calls, your media, and there's even a dedicated space where you can set your audio to play from, which I think is a welcome change. With all that being said, some things do remain the same, however. For example, some apps which don't support full screen mode by default will still have that black bar on top near the camera area of your screen, which has always been a major complaint of mine, especially with the Pixel user interface. Especially if you consider that other skins like One UI, HyperOS, and Oxygen OS give users an option to go full screen with their apps. So yeah, it's something that's still missing from the Pixel since Google transitioned to using this place with camera cutouts. So yeah, it's something that I wish they also changed up with this new update. So yeah, that does it for this quick video. Let me know what you guys think about the new changes in Material 3 Expressive. Have you already installed it on your Google Pixel phone? What kind of Pixel phone do you have? Sound up in the comments below. Thanks all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.